Good morning, class. Welcome back again. I am Mrs. Mukherjee. I am starting with exercise twelve B of the chapter identities. It is actually a revision exercise where the sums pertaining to all the exercises are given here. I'll try to do as much as I can, but maximum will be your homework. So let's start. I start with question number. One. Question number one. Part one. It says three x plus one by two and two x plus one by three, which we have to evaluate. It means we have to multiply them. So when you multiply the first term with the second term, either you use the formula, you buy, uh, you use the first uh, exercise where the direct method is used, or you can open the bracket and then also you can multiply. As long as your answer is correct, it's not given wrong. So anyway, it is a plus b, and it is different. See, it is b plus c. The two brackets are entirely. Different here, so first we we'll, we will multiply these two brackets. So three x into two x gives you six x square. Three x into one by three will give you x plus one by two into two x also gives you x, and one by two into one by three gives you one by six. So it is six x square plus two x. Plus one by six. This will be your first answer. Now we move to the next one. I will do part five of this. Part five says a square plus five, a square plus five into a square minus three. Which is you can say it is x plus a and x minus b. So when I open the bracket or when I directly multiply, my answer should be a, a square into a square, which gives me a to the power four. If I multiply a square into minus three, I will get minus three a square. Then if I multiply five with a square, I will get five a square, and five with three, I will get minus fifteen. Now the like terms we have to add. So this is a four plus two a square minus fifty. This is your next answer. Then I move to question number two. I will not do many sums because this is simple. Again, your revision. Question number two, part one. Evaluate. 2x minus 3 upon 5. 2x plus 3 upon 5. Now 2x minus 3 upon 5 and 2x plus 3 upon 5. It is a minus b into a plus b, which is a square minus b square. So we can directly write it as a square, which is 2x square minus b square, which is 3 upon 5 whole square. So it gives you four x square minus nine upon twenty five. So this here goes your answer. Four x square minus nine upon twenty five. Now I am going to do part four of question number two. Part four of question number two. Same formula. Two a. Plus one upon two a, and two a minus one upon two a. You have to multiply using the same formula. A plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So which is two a into two a, a square minus b square. So a square minus b square is. Four a square minus one upon four a square. Here goes your answer. 
then the next which I will be doing is part 6 it is a decimal but again the same formula a square minus b square 1.6x plus 0.7y and 1.6x minus 0.7y now a square which is 1.6x whole square minus b square which is 0.7y whole square now 16 into 16 we should know the uh, <coughs> sorry we should know the product of 16 into 16 216 if I am not mistaken let me just check the answer that is question number 2 part 6 question number 2 part 6 256 correct so it is 200 and 56. Now where should the decimal be? After 2 places. So 256 which means 2.56x square minus 7 square is 49. It means I write 49 after 2 places of decimal. So 0.49y square. This will be your answer. The next which I am going to do from here is Question number 9. Question number 9 is A plus BC into A minus BC into A square plus B square. A square plus B square C square. This is what the question is. Now, first two bracket is a minus b into a plus b. So, you can apply the formula of a square minus b square. So, it is a square minus bc whole square. And then I put it together in one bracket. And this one, second bracket is a square plus b square c square. Now, this becomes a square minus b square c square in the bracket and this is a square plus b square c square again it is a minus b into a plus b so square of both the term it is a square the square and minus b square c square whole square <coughs> sorry so your answer is a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4 and c to the power 4 this will be your answer okay simple only they have given a little bit of extra numbers along with it the next sum of this question is I am going to do a decimal part 11 20.8 multiplied by 19.2 so 20.8 and 19.2 how can we write this we can write it as 20 plus 0 0.8 and here we can write it as 20 minus 0 0.8 so it is a square which is 20 square minus b square which is 0 0.8 square so 20 square is 400 minus 0 0.64 ok this is and when you subtract it is 10 minus 4 is 6 9 minus 6 is 3 then 9 9 3 399.36 is your I move to the next sum the next sum is question number 3 I am starting with part 2 question number 3 part 2 find the square of 
5a upon 6b minus 6b upon 5a. We have to find the square of. Now you have to apply a minus b whole square formula which is a square. So 5a upon 6b whole square minus 2 into a which is the first term into b which is the second term plus the square of the second term. Now 5a is 25a square upon 36b square. This gets cancelled. So it is minus 2 and here it is 36b square upon 25a square. So this will be your answer. After this we can't solve any further. So this is your answer. Okay, now I will do question number 3, part 3. Question number 3, part 3 is find the square of 2m square minus 2 upon 3n square. And we have to find the square of this. So a square which is 2m square the square minus 2 into first term which is 2m square into second term which is 2 upon 3n square and then the square of n square and whole square. Okay it got little scribbled. So 4m to the power 4. And here it will be minus 2 to the 4 to the 8 which is 8 upon 3 m square n square and 2 upon 3 is square of that gives you 4 upon 9 n to the power 4. So this is your answer for question number 3 part 3. 4 m to the power 4 minus 8 upon 3 m square n square plus 4 by 9 n to the power Four. This is your answer. Okay. Let's do question number four. Question number four. It says, if a plus one upon a is equal to two, I'm doing part two. Find a to the power four plus. 1 upon a to the power 4. Now how we are going to do this? So first we need to find the square which is a plus 1 upon a whole square and then if I do the square of that it will give you 4. So it is a square plus b square. b square is 1 upon a square plus 2ab. So 2 into your a and b is 1 upon a. So these two gets cancelled. a plus 1 upon a is 2. So 2 square is equal to a square plus 1 upon a square plus 2. So this is 4 minus 2 is equal to a square plus 1 upon a square. Therefore 2 is equal to a square plus 1 upon a square. But you have to find a4 plus 1 upon a4. So it means you have to square off a square plus 1 upon a square. So next step will be square of a square plus 1 upon a square the whole square. So again a square means a to the power 4 b square means 1 upon a to the power 4 plus 2ab means 2 into 8 square into 1 upon a square. Now this a square and a square gets cancelled. a square plus 1 upon a square is 2. 
so this is 2 square is equal to a to the power 4 plus 1 upon a to the power 4 plus 2 therefore a4 plus 1 upon a4 is equal to 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. This is the answer of a4 plus 1 upon a4. Now I move to question number 5 part 3. I am doing only few sums because all these sums are exactly the repetition of what you have done earlier. So I will do question number 5 part 3 where m minus 1 upon m is equal to 5 and we have to find m square minus 1 upon m square we have to find. So, we will start with m minus 1 upon m whole square which is equal to a square means m square minus 2ab means minus 2 into m into 1 upon m plus b square it means 1 upon m square. This gets cancelled this side is 5 square is equal to m square plus 1 upon m square minus 2. So, 25 plus 2 is equal to m square plus 1 upon m square. So, m square plus 1 upon m square is equal to 27. This is your answer. Next question I am doing question number 8. Question number 8, part 1. 9x square plus 1 upon 9x square we have to find when the given thing is if 3x minus 1 upon 3x is equal to 5. All the questions if you notice are the same type. You are applying only the expansion formula. The identities you are applying and keep solving it. Only to identify the uh, identity is the important thing. There you should not go wrong and in applying the identity, expansion of the identity you should not go wrong. So 3x minus 1 upon 3x the whole square. You have to do square because it is square here a square it means 9 x square the first term square minus 2 into a into b means first term into the second term then square of the second term is again 1 upon 9 x square substitute the values 5 square is equal to 9 x square now this 3x and 3x entirely gets cancelled. Here it is minus 2 plus 1 upon 9x square. Minus 2 comes this side. So 125, sorry, 5 square is 25 plus 2 is equal to 9x square plus 1 upon 9x squared. So, your answer becomes 27. So, the answer is 9x square plus 1 upon 9x square is equal to 27. Now, I will quickly move to question number 10. Question number 10 says, same application of expansion, only three terms, A plus B plus C. So, question number 10, if A plus B plus C is 9, so if A plus B plus C is equal to 9 
and AB plus BC and AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 15. We have to find A square plus B square plus C square. Okay. So same expansion I will apply for A plus B plus C the whole square which gives me a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. a plus b plus a is 9 so 9 square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus you take the 2 out and a plus b plus ab plus bc plus ca is 15 so I will write bracket 15. 81 is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 30. Therefore, a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 81 minus 30 which is 61. Sorry, 8 minus 3 is 5. So the answer is 51, not 60. Okay. This is your answer for the 10th one. Now I move to question number 12. Question number 12 says, If 3x minus 4y, is equal to 5 and x y is equal to 3 what you have to find is 27 x to the power 3 minus 64 y to the power 3 so I am going to use the formula for cube so formula for cube is a minus b whole cube so here it is 3x minus 4y the whole cube. <coughs> Sorry. What is the expansion? A cube. It means 3x cube minus b cube. Sorry b cube here it is 4y. So minus 4y cube then minus 3ab. 3ab is minus 3 into a here is 3x and b here is 4y inside the bracket is the same a minus b which is 3x minus 4y now we solve this so 3x minus 4y is 5 so here this side is 5 cube so it is 5 cube is equal to 3x cube 3x cube is 27x cube minus 64 y cube minus 3 into 3 9 9 4 is a 36 36 x y x y value is given as 3 so I can write 3 here and 3 x minus 4 y is given as 5 so I can write 5 here now 5 cube is 125 5 5 is a 25 and 5 is 125 is equal to 27x cube minus 64 y cube minus 36 into 3 into 5 which means 36 into 15 36 into 15 we have to solve so uh, let me check 36 36 into 15 it should be uh, 30 yeah 540 so this is 540. Now when I take this 540 this side it becomes plus. Therefore your answer should be 27x cube minus 64 y cube is equal to 540 plus 125 which is equal to 566. 600 65 okay
next question what i am going to do is question number 16 so here comes question number 16 question number 16 is the word problem difference between two numbers is 5 so let the number be x and y let the numbers be x and y so first condition is the difference between two numbers is 5 so x minus y is equal to 5 the product is 14 so x into y is equal to 14 what you have to find is find the difference between their cubes so find difference between their cubes so this is what we have to find so we take the cube of x minus y x minus y the whole cube the same formula we just used it is a cube which is x cube minus b cube which is y cube minus 3ab which is minus 3xy into a minus b which is x minus y x minus y is 5 so it is 5 cube here it is x cube minus y cube minus 3 into 14 into 5 this is what it is so 5 cube is 125 125 is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3 into uh, 14 into 5 gives you 210 Five into fourteen is seventy. Seventy into three is two hundred and ten. So x cube minus y cube is equal to one hundred and twenty-five plus two hundred and ten. So x cube minus y cube is equal to five three 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 hundred and thirty-five is the answer. for the last sum of this exercise and last sum of this chapter question number 16 i hope this chapter was easy for you you have followed everything remember all the formulas learn by heart all the identities and the expansions it will be easy for you each and every sum will be easy for you to solve thank you class